Several lakes in Africa are undergoing a process of desertification. One among them is Lake Victoria. To know about this Lake Victoria, kindly watch this video. Lake Victoria is also known as Victoria Nyanza. It is one among the African Great Lakes. Here note that it is the Africa's biggest lake and also the largest tropical lake in the world. In terms of surface area, it is the second largest freshwater lake present in the world. Lake Victoria is also well known as the source of the longest branch of the Nile River, that is the White Nile. Now coming to the geographical location of the lake. See, it lies mainly in Tanzania and Uganda, but some parts of it is also present in the country Kenya. This is all with respect to the geography of the lake. Now let's see the economical importance of this lake. The lake has more than 200 species of freshwater fishes present in it. Among these, the tilapia is the most economically important fish. Here note that the lake also acts as an inland water transport linkage for the three East African states, that is Uganda, Tanzania and Kenya. Furthermore, the lake is a major reservoir and source of water for domestic, industrial and commercial purposes in these countries. So, we can understand that the lake serves as a fishing ground, water source and even for producing power through hydroelectric power plants. This is all with respect to the economical importance of the lake. Now coming to the present condition of the lake. See, the lake is threatened by the consequences of overfishing. Also, it is threatened by ecological damage caused from pollution and invasive species such as the Nile perch and water hyacinth. Let's see briefly about the invasive species water hyacinth. It is a freshwater plant capable of vigorous growth in the water bodies. It was introduced in the African continent as an ornamental plant in the early 20th century and since then it has spread rampantly. In Lake Victoria, the water hyacinth caused a reduction in fish. This is through deoxygenation of water. It blocked the in and outflows of the lake, thus it led to disruption in the fishing activities. It also acts as an impediment in the freer movement of transport of goods. Here also note that Lake Victoria is now being affected by eutrophication. Let me explain to you briefly about the term eutrophication. See, eutrophication is the process in which a water body becomes more enriched with nutrient. This leads to excessive growth of algae and plankton in a water body, which leads to the blockage of sunlight into the interior parts of the lake. See, eutrophication is considered to be a serious environmental concern. This is because it often results in the deterioration of water quality. Thus, eutrophic waters can eventually become dead zones that are incapable of supporting life. To watch content like this, please subscribe to Shankara Ace Academy's YouTube channel.